Hello and welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to see the basics of SolidWorks. When you open SolidWorks, this will be the interface and to create a new file, click on file and click on new. Here there are three different options, part, drawing and assembly and here we are going to create the part. So click on part and then click on OK. And when you click on OK, this will be the uh, window and here you can see the units by default when you install the SOLIDWORKS and open for the first time it will ask for the units so the default unit is this one and if you want you can change the unit over here and here there are three different planes the front plane top plane and the right plane here initially it will be hidden if you want it to be shown click on the front plane and here you can see the see the option show or you right click and then click the option show similarly for top and the right plane now you can see the front top and the right plane are shown and here there is a feature and the sketch first we need to do the 2d drawing and to start with the 2d drawing select any of the plane and then click on sketch now i'm going to hide these two planes and this is the origin now this is the origin and for the reference line you can draw the horizontal line here when you click on line there are different options you can draw a horizontal line and I'm going to use it for construction and that will be the infinite line. And then click on OK. Similarly vertical line, I'm going to use it for construction and that will be also the infinite line. And then click on OK. Now I'll do the basic uh, tools. And here in the line option you are having the midpoint line that is you can draw the line equally at an equal distance from the point where you start. I have started from this point and it will extend equally. Now I am going to draw a simple diagram and here we are having different types of rectangle corner rectangle, center rectangle, three point corner rectangle depending upon the drawing details or the drawing you need to select the appropriate one now I am going to draw corner rectangle and here the black color mark shows the dimensions are fully constrained for example now the highlighted thing shows that profile is a closed profile if you don't want to show that here you can here having the option called shaded sketch counters just click on it and here to add the dimension just click on it always the dimension should be added with respect to the origin only then it will be constrained here you can change it to 50 and here also I change it to 80 now you can see that the drawn diagram is in black color that means that it is fully constrained here also you can see that it is fully defined now here we'll use the option called trim we'll see how to use the option trim suppose I'm having a line over here and I'm drawing a rectangle now we'll see we'll select the option trim and then just left click on the mouse and then drag over which you want to trim see and now here we are having the option called offset here we can offset a particular line or a 
any diagram at a particular distance that's it that is it will be parallel here you are having different options if you want you can reverse the direction and here you can add the distance and here it can show whether it should be a bilateral or what I'm going to offset it at a distance of 20 mm and then click on OK see now it has been offset at a distance of 20 mm here there is an option called mirror it is used to mirror the dimensions of whatever the diagram is drawn suppose I want to mirror a circle which is drawn over here suppose I want to mirror about the x-axis so I'll choose the circle and then choose mirror entities and here I can again add the entities to mirror I can add this also I can add whichever I need to mirror I can add now here there's an option called mirror about then choose the axis about which you have to mirror you can choose this one and then click on OK if you want to mirror about the Y axis then in the axis you choose the Y axis now here there is an option linear sketch pattern you can here it is used to create a pattern and there there are two pattern option the linear and the circular linear is used for creating the in the X direction and Y direction and when you click on linear sketch here there are different option direction 1 and direction 2 in the direction 1 it is along X axis you can change the direction if you want it to be along Y axis also here also it is Y in the direction Y and here you want to mention the distance 40 mm and if you click on dimension X spacing it will show the dimensions I don't want to show the dimension so I'll not enable it and this is the number of entities and uh, you can click on it see by the preview has been shown now if you want you can change the direction by just by clicking over here reverse direction and here you can add still more entities here I am going to choose and I am going to add this also and then click on finish you can see it has been made and here there is an option called move entities here you can move this up and down or any way which you want you can copy and you can rotate and you can just try it for yourself and it is very easy and first I'll delete this now I'm going to draw a simple rectangle and I'm going to dimension it I'll give it a random dimension And here by default the unit is in mm uh, I have selected the unit as mm but here while entering the distance you can choose the units suppose I am going to enter 100 here and here it shows the unit you can choose different units centimeter feet inches whichever you want you can choose but I am going to use it as mm And then click on OK. And here you can choose the positioning and the precision up to which it has to be there. And then click on OK. Now to exit from the sketching mode, you can just click over here. And if you want uh, you can rotate the view just by clicking the center wheel button and then dragging the mouse in the direction in which you want to view I'm going to hide the plane 
Now in the features you are having the mod 3D modeling tools that is you are having the extrude option click on extrude and then click the profile you can see the profile has been extruded you can change the direction over here or in this by in the mouse itself or here you are having the option called from where you need to sketch you can enter you can give it a offset distance from where you need to sketch and here the direction you can reverse it and you are having the option to choose still where it should extend to the vertex or blindly if it is blindly you have to enter the distance I am going to enter a distance of 45 mm will start the 2d sketch now to start 2d sketch if you want to draw a sketch upon this part click on this part button it will be selected I'm going to change the view and then I'm going to draw a circle over here and I'm going to put add the constraint to it and then I will exit the sketch and now here I am going to make an option called extruded cut and I am going to choose the profile and I am going to choose full through all and then click on ok because I want the it to be cut throughout the body and here we are having the option called thread In the whole wizard you can see there is an option called thread click on thread and select the profile where you need to get the thread by default the the profile will be selected and you can have a just preview and here there is an option called offset where you can add it after a certain distance and end conditions also you can apply and con conditions you can apply full up to the selection that is I want it to be till this side so I am going to apply it till there and here you are having this different types of specification like inch die, metric tap, inch tap uh, which you want you can choose and the size by default the diameter will be taken but you can choose it and here there is a thread method is there you can choose the option called thread cut or extrude thread here you cannot extrude it you have to cut the thread that is why we will cut it and then click on ok Now you can see the threading has been made. Alright guys, thank you for watching my video. For more videos, please like and subscribe my channels.